Tulsa's police union has asked a judge for a restraining order to stop term limits from going to, into effect on the department. Last month, the city of Tulsa agreed to do two things to end the 16-year-long lawsuit filed by the Black Officers Coalition. First, install cameras in every squad car, and second, remove any officer who's been in a specialty unit or combination of them for 15 years. The union says those term limits are illegal. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright explains new at 6. Lori? Well, Terry, the FOP says the city can't just change a policy on the police department without first going through the collective bargaining process. They say that violates not only their contract, but also state labor laws. These officers were at court because of a personal interest in this case. Sergeant Mike Huff and Detectives Jeff Felton and Mark Kennedy would be forced to leave the homicide unit with their 28 years of combined experience solving murders because of term limits. Maggie Zingman is here because her daughter Brittany was murdered six years ago and she worries what will happen when a rookie takes over the case or worse, it gets put on a shelf. It's a good sign. Really the FOP lawyers say in order for them to get a restraining order to stop these term limits from going into effect, they need to show the judge the policy causes harm. He says both the DA and the police chief agree it does. All of them saying that this change in policy will have an immediate and, and bad impact on the city's ability to prosecute, the district attorney's ability to prosecute and investigate crime. He wants the judge to stop the term limits from going into effect in August until it's decided if the term limit policy violates the union's contract with the city and if it violates state labor law. He argues waiting doesn't hurt anybody but moving forward could hurt many old and new cases. The city's attorneys say term limits are legal and were already approved by a federal judge and should be left alone, especially since they are key to ending a 16-year-long expensive legal battle that is just three months away from finally being over. They say the FOP is trying to make an end run around the federal courts and that term limits only affect a small number of officers on the force and should be implemented just as the federal court expects them to be. The police department says the term limits affect 16 officers currently on the force in units like homicide, sex crimes, auto theft and narcotics. The judge will make her decision about this injunction on Friday. Lori Fulbright, The News on 6.